Regardless of how good your voice may be, you'll always need a touch-up to provide the best experience for your audience. Given the way that most users will absorb your content, whether it be using a mobile device, high-def headphones, or even a TV, your voice will be the focus. And this has been proven as one of the most important factors of whether a user will continue to listen, or perhaps even subscribe or follow. So you need to be putting your best foot forward. Here, I will run you through some of the basic settings and effects in Audacity in order to help you achieve this. First, let's start with recording some audio. Ensure to leave around 5 to 10 seconds of background noise before you start talking. This is Joe from Creator IQ recording a sample clip. Highlight the first 5 to 10 seconds of the blank recording, and then go into the Effects tab and select Noise Reduction. Click Get Noise Profile. Next, select the rest of your recorded clip. Go back into Effects and then Noise Reduction. Leave the default settings as they are and hit OK. This has now removed any consistent background noise that your mic may have picked up in your recording. This is where we start to add effects. Please note these are general settings that work for my voice. You may need to play around with these and get them to work for you. Still, they're a very good starting point. Select the track and follow the next steps and settings in this order. First we want to run Compressor, and that can be found under the Effects tab. Note the settings. I believe these are default and I'd recommend leaving them as is. Then we want to clear up the bass, so click on Effects again, and then go into Filter Curve EQ. On the bottom left we want to click onto Manage, and then in the Factory Presets, select Bass Boost. I'll usually adjust this down for my voice as I find the default settings just a little bit too bassy for me, but for the purpose of this I'll just leave it as standard. Now if you're going to add bass, you need to add treble too, or it will sound very heavy. So going back into the Filter Curve EQ, we want to select the treble boosts in the factory presets. As you can see it's looking a little bit out of whack, so we need to shave down some of those peaks, to give it a more consistent delivery. Back into Effects, select Limiter. Make sure the drop down option is set to Hard Limit, and I usually prefer to set the limit to minus 4. The last step is to bring the whole track up to what the final level will be. In Effects, select Normalize. Default is minus 1, but I prefer minus 2. There isn't much in it to be fair, this is just personal preference. So let's have a listen to the original. This is Joe from Creator IQ recording a sample clip. This is Joe from Creator IQ recording a sample clip. I actually have a few more steps I usually take, but these are more specific to my voice and probably outside what I would call basic editing. But that's it, your recording should be sounding much cleaner and more consistent. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.